Hello, Raw Mithril here once again. Nicely rested up from a bit of a night off. So, let's continue on. Uh, gonna go ahead and switch back to the sprite. Still needs quite a bit of weapon grinding there. And before we go anywhere, uh, probably a good idea to stock up. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, don't need any candy. Plenty of chocolate. Wow, I didn't have any of that left. Fairy walnuts. Okay, I only needed one of those. That's the big one is Cups of Wishes. Yeah, I only had one of those left. That's not gonna fly. And speaking of flying, off we go. As last we left things, it was time to explore the sunken continent. So let's go for it. At least with as <laughs> questionable as my sense of direction is when flying Flammy, at least the sunken continent is pretty huge, so uh, easy enough to find. Hey there, Jemma. Valor, the sunken continent has surfaced. The fortress is there. I've brought troops here to keep the Empire from taking the Mana Fortress. There's an ancient city under the Grand Palace. We must get into it. Emperor Vandal is working for the Underworld. This place is full of monsters. How can we just sit here eating pizza? Though your sword isn't fully powered, you need it to stop the Emperor. We'll fight off the Imperial troops here. You catch up with those soldiers. Now, you rude... Rude Dark Knight. <laughs> we just repelled magic. Beautiful. Not that it did much, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> it shows that I've been training Dryad since I still have wall in effect. Okay, so anyway, my apologies in advance. This place is one huge maze, so uh, bear with me if I get lost from time to time. There's a lot to find here, a lot to do here. Yeah. Oh, gods, they can actually split. And they have a lot of health. Just putting that out there. There we go. Be careful. I think I want to stay toward the left. Oh, look, a new enemy. What do we have here? Well, I mean, it's a pallet swap, but still new. The Metal Crawler. It does pack quite a bit of health. Oh, my weapon skill is up. The axe has reached level 6, and I think that's as good as it can get for now. Indeed. Alright. Now let's work with the Hyper Fist a bit. Uh, I could actually get a quick bit of free experience for the Cobra Shuttle. Fittingly enough, the Cobra Shuttle can cause poison. Okay, so, yeah, back to the Hyperfist. So here's the thing about Wall. It can be a nice spell to have on you. It defends you from any magic attacks the enemy try to use on you. It, of course, doesn't come without its drawbacks. The drawback in this case is that it also repels any buffs that you try to cast on yourself. So long as there's at least one enemy anywhere near you, 
even if they're a little bit off screen, if you try and cast, say, Cure Water on yourself, it'll instead get bounced off to the enemy. And you really don't want that now, do you? It thus becomes a bit of a trade-off, and, uh... Kinda makes me wish you could cast Dispel Magic on yourself sometimes. Here we have the Steel Peon. Steel Peon kinda sounds like it would be a Pokémon name. If Drapion had a Steel-type evolution or something. Oh, we have these things in the way. Ah, oh, even the sword can't get rid of them. The axe is the only option for that. And there's kind of a lot of these. Uh. Okay. In the interest of saving time, does anyone still need work with the Werebuster? Valor, you do, so, uh... Take it, man. Take it, and we're switching over to you. I want that treasure chest. And we get a boomerang orb. So let's continue on. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. It just resets the tiny spikes? Why? What is the point of that? I am confused. I mean, seriously, does... <laughs> eh. There are some things in this game that I just don't understand, and that's one of them. Come on, face your fate. Okay. Hopefully we're not close to any monsters, so we can all enjoy some cure water. And we must be near somebody. Uh, you. When level grinding Dryad, that does make it a bit of a pain, because as annoying as it can be to still have that effect on you for so long, Wall is unfortunately the most cost-effective uh, Dryad spell there is to train with. It's that Revivifier which costs 10 points and requires you to have somebody dead. So, yeah. That <laughs> Yeah, you just fly down that current. Uh, not that there's anything we can do up here. Okay, so yeah, nothing for us to do over that way. So let's just move on. and reset the little nettles in the ground for whatever reason. I swear that's there just to be annoying.
Oh dear. And what do you summon? Are you sending in more steel pins? Oh no, you're s sending in metal crawlers. That's worse. As I'm smacked by shinies. Okay, there. That at least put an end to the summoning. I've been told that in some areas there are enemies that'll drop special armors that, uh... Basically, you just have to sit there and grind for a while to even have a shot at finding them. Um, I'm not too interested in doing that, especially since I know I'm going to have to do some grinding like that later on anyway. To get something a bit more important than armor, which may or may not be outclassed later anyway. At the very least, wall can't repel candy. Because the thing is, back when I used to play this a lot, I don't ever really remember grinding for armor being too problematic of a thing. And now we have this frog that looks like it was drawn by the same artist that drew The Simpsons, the Basilisk. That thing just looks weird. The bugged out eyes just don't help the look. <laughs> I want to say maybe it is the Basilisk that has the rare armor, but I believe Basilisks do actually show up later on. At the very least, one does somewhere. I remember reading that specifically. Oh, what? They can summon Egatris? Really? Wow. Well then. That was unexpected. Okay, we need to look for a switch here. There it is. And that turns off the waterfall for us. I don't think there was anything else along the way. I know there are hidden passages in this place somewhere. Another basilisk may as well try my luck. And if nothing else, it's weapon experience. That dropped something. Get back here. A oh, fairy walnut, meh. We already have plenty of those. A shame, really, else that would have been rather nice to have. Okay, another of these. Seemingly nothing of major interest here, either. Yeah, that's right. You absorb magic from the guy that doesn't have any. That's an awesome plan. Ah. Oh, that, that could be bad. Except... I think the Reaper saved me. <laughs> okay, that that's kind of ridiculous. Thankfully, I don't have a wall on me, obviously, so... Uh, please, please cure me, Elise. 